how to find luxury and designer for less because baby the way the economy is set up whoo just because you have a lot of designer items in your closet or you can afford to buy designer it does not mean that you know how to dress okay Ooh. girl i didn't got me some prada boots everybody named mama one of these boots there is no way that i would have been able to get these at the price that i wanted to pay it's chic it's cute not when farfetch had it for 710 but at the end of the day if you're looking for a discount farfetch will have it honey satin black and when i saw the price tag i was like absolutely not I'm I'm just a girl, I'm just a girl, I don't know. <laughs> Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Shay Nicole and I love creating videos to help elevate your confidence in style and self-care while also dropping gems for my current and aspiring content creators. I'm so glad you're here. Now let's get into today's video. We are talking about how to find luxury and designer for less cause baby, the way the economy is set up, whew. Now granted, I always say that just because you have a lot of designer items in your closet or you can afford to buy designer, it does not mean that you know how to dress, okay? I just had to preface this video Video by saying that I want to make sure I make that very clear because I'm adamant about your style and your fashion has nothing to do with a price tag however I do know that a lot of the girls like to you know splurge a little bit we like to go all out sometimes and buy that high ticket item and honestly let's be real there is quality in buying that good leather bag okay there is some value in buying a bag that you can eventually resell and some luxury items you can hold on to and resell for a higher price tag way later on in life you know, you never know it's gonna be a rainy day. So sometimes good designer luxury pieces are an investment, okay? Now, if that is not something you're interested in, you are very much bougie on a budget, then this video ain't for you. But for my girls who wanna to get to the designer, honey, I got some sites that you need to check out. This is not an ad, this is not sponsored. This is just me trying to help you to build your wardrobe and invest in some designer pieces that you deem as luxury. And again, just because something has a high price tag does not mean it's luxury. But in this case, the items I'm gonna show you that I've gotten recently are considered luxury designer pieces and in the event that you want to splurge and treat yourself I got some sites for you to check out okay first up I have to tell you about this app called Poshmark in case you are new here this app means a lot to me because I have been using it for years I actually got started with my whole entire resale business by using this app so let me explain Poshmark is an app where everyday people just like you and I can sell things from their personal closet but it also allows you to start a whole business and that's exactly what I did so back when I was living in New York before I moved to Houston before I had a husband had a baby I was single living my best life in New York City and I started to look around like whoo child the cost of living in New York is crazy and all these clothes in my closet are getting overwhelming so I started a Poshmark back in I think 20 what was that 2016 2017 and it was life-changing I was able to make a good amount of cash on the side like it became my actual side hustle and then from Poshmark I was able to like catapult into the resale space over on Instagram so I started hosting my own Instagram live sales and because of the success of that I didn't even need Poshmark anymore so I ended up not even using the platform for a couple of years the only reason that I use it now is because I no longer do my live sales during that time period where I was reselling items like I would go thrifting I would go to local stores spend a bunch of hours in the mall and I would buy stuff not only in my size but like multiple sizes you know just to make sure that I had enough things for my entire audience who I knew that would be watching my live and during that time period of me doing my Instagram live sales I didn't use Poshmark because they took a fee like you know if I'm selling something let's say I want to sell this blazer they're gonna take a percentage because of the convenience like they are providing the shipping label and an algorithm to get your pieces out to a new audience and it's again a whole entire platform so Although it is free to sign up and use, they do take a fee. So anyways, after I decided I no longer wanted to do live sales, I just didn't have the capacity to be on Instagram Live and to be sourcing all day long. Like, it, just, honey, I am a mother, okay, and a wife. I don't have time for all that. I ended up going back to Poshmark, and now I use it every single day. Again, in case you are new here, you will go back and look at my other vlogs, and you'll see I'm always pointing right here on the screen to scan the QR code to go to my Poshmark and that's where you can shop things from my personal closet. And y'all, I use this every single day. I post things that I receive from brands, clothing and accessories and shoes or whatever the campaign asks me to do. After that, let's say I just don't need another pair of these jeans or another coat or another purse or whatever, I will just put it on Poshmark and sell it. And it's great because these are brand new items that I'm receiving from businesses to do these campaigns. And my audience, you watching this, y'all can shop these brand new items for less. And then I also have things that are gently used from my personal closet that I've purchased for myself. And you know, over the years, my style has changed 
changed or maybe I just, you know, can't fit something anymore. You know, I've lost a significant amount of weight since having my daughter. So sometimes I just throw stuff on there that I don't really want to get tailored, but it's still in great condition and gently used. So I said all that to say, y'all know I got to give a little backstory. I absolutely love Poshmark. This is not an ad. This is not sponsored. This is something that I'm sharing with you because I use it every day. With that being said, let me show you my recent luxury designer purchase. You're gonna wanna see this. Drum roll, please. Girl, I didn't got me some Prada boots. I have been wanting these for so long, y'all. You don't even understand. Honey, the way these sold out when they first came out, it was ridiculous. Everybody named Mama one of these boots, and I have been trying to find my size for the longest. And one day I figured, why not check Poshmark? The good thing about Poshmark is, look at that. In the event that you make a purchase over $500, they will automatically authenticate the luxury item for you, okay? And I love that because you don't have to worry about, oh, am I buying something fake? How do I know? Is it legitimate? Where did it come from? You ain't got to worry about that, honey, because Poshmark is going to do the authentication process for you. Y'all, get into it. Do you see these? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There is no way that I would have been able to get these at the price that I wanted to pay from the actual Prada store, first of all, okay? Number two, even on some other sites that I knew had them like Saks Fifth Avenue, um, I think Bordorf Goodman had them at one point, I could not find my size, like I said. Now looking here on Prada's website, I see that they actually no longer carry the tall combat boot, okay? It's called the Monolith uh, Leather Nylon Boot. And I believe this is the 55 mm. Honey, I'm only seeing the short ones, and I'll put a picture on the screen here so you can see it. The short ones really wasn't doing it for me. I don't know, it's just something about this, this length here that I really like. Now the short one is 17.50, that's crazy. So I'm thinking that this one, uh, because I was looking on the resale market, this one was probably over 2,000. I saw some of them ranging from like 2,100 to 2,500, and then on eBay they were even more. Child, people are taxing and charging an arm and a leg for this because, again, like I said, Prada either no longer makes this uh, height or they just haven't re-released it yet. So anyways, I did not pay that price. Thanks to Poshmark, okay? I not only got the boots in amazing condition. I mean, I don't even think they've ever been worn. Look at the bottom. You see that? The bottom is as if they've just been sitting on display. There's no creasing or anything. It came with a box. And the authentication here from Poshmark, as well as the uh, original tagging and everything. Honey, I only paid $1,200. And on top of that, I got free shipping. So let me just tell you, Poshmark came through for me because I have been looking for these forever, okay? I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to wear them. And again, y'all, I'm not here to tell you uh, what your budget is. For me personally, because I often will sell things on Poshmark, it kind of uh, made sense to me to get them on the app anyway. And this is me also encouraging you to maybe you want to do a little splurging. Try Poshmark because let's say you sell a couple of things from your own closet, you can end up getting, um, it's not actually store credit, it's literally cash. Like you'll get cash that comes to your Poshmark account and then you can shop using that cash. So when I bought these, I actually had money that was just sitting in my Poshmark because I sell things so often. So it's kind of like they were free, okay? Okay, they weren't free. Obviously, I, again, I was selling things from my closet. I got the cash and I just let the cash stack. But honestly, y'all, that is such an easy way and like a life hack when it comes to wanting to treat yourself without the guilt of dropping a lot of money on a large purchase. All right, now let's get into this next site and this is called Farfetch. I have mentioned this site so many times in past vlogs, especially when it comes to me unboxing some of my luxury items. I shop on Farfetch all the time. And in case you're not familiar, Farfetch is actually not a retail store that physically sells products and goods. It is actually a liaison, the middleman between us buyers and these boutiques and stores and authorized retailers that do carry luxury designer so here in the US when you go to Saks or Bergdorf Goodman or you know uh, Nordstrom these are official authorized retailers who have the right to sell Gucci Prada uh, YSL you know all the luxury designer houses so I can go into Saks who is an authorized retailer and I can purchase a Gucci bag without actually going into Gucci and it's like that for a number of reasons but one of the reasons I really love the fact that there are authorized retailers is because every city does not have a Gucci store a Louis store a Prada store a Christian Louboutin 
Amazon store. When I live in Newport News, Virginia, honey, that's where you know I'm from. Uh, you cannot just walk into a luxury designer house. It doesn't work like that. Like Newport News is not a major city, but we did have Nordstrom, and you know Saks was not too far away uh, in the 757 area. That's where I'm from. So again, authorized retailers are super important, but sometimes you may live somewhere where you can't even get to a Saks. You can't even get to you know an authorized retailer. So that's where sites like Farfetch come into play, and it's really important for you to know that because so many times I see you know on TikTok, I'm always in the TikTok streets, honey. People are complaining like. Oh, are these sites real? Are these sites fake? Yes, they are real, but they don't physically sell the product. They are the liaison. They are bridging the gap between customers and authorized retailers who can sell designer items. Does that make sense? Hope you're tracking. Hope you're following along. So recently, I picked up um, a Jock Moose bag from Farfetch. I've purchased a hat. I'll show you that in a second. I'm often browsing Farfetch looking for designer clothing because they always have great prices on their clothes. And you know, one thing I really appreciate is the fact that I can scroll and look at things that I'm not really ready to buy, but I can put a little heart on it. I can tap it and it'll add it to my wish list or my favorites list. So then let's say there's a price drop. I'll get a notification. I can always go back and browse that list. So Farfetch is just one of my favorite sites and I always get amazing discounts. So here's one of my favorite purchases that I got from Farfetch. This is the Jacques Mousse Bambino bag. Um, this is the size grand because you know it comes in different sizes. This is the larger one. This isn't the largest, but it's larger than the small one. So it's like the medium size one. And I absolutely love it. It is definitely like my everyday black bag. It's chic, it's cute. You know, she's not too, too big. She's just right. Let me give you a close-up. And again, y'all, if I would have gotten it on Jacques Mousse, their actual website, I would have paid $1,050. That, that's crazy. <laughs> not when Farfetch had it for $710. What? $710. Yes, that is a huge discount. Now, mind you, it's not always the same exact discount every time. Remember, Farfetch is a place that connects the buyers with the boutiques and other authorized retailers. So it really depends on whatever the price that particular boutique is putting the bag on sale for. So that is how I end up coming up on this one with a $300 discount. Now, when you go to Farfetch, there will oftentimes be the same listing for the same bag, but you'll see it multiple times over and over. That's because there are different retailers that they're trying to connect you with to get the bag that you want. And different stores have different price points for you know their own reasons. So you may go and see this bag for $800 one day on one site that they're connecting you with. And then the next day you might catch one for $710 like I did. And then I just looked earlier and I saw one that was like nine something, $1,000. That's not really a big enough discount for me personally. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for a discount, Farfetch will have it, honey. Now here's another purchase that I got from Farfetch. I absolutely love the Ruslan, am I saying that right? Is it Ruslan or Ruslan Baginski? I think that's how you say it. The Ruslan Baginski hats. They're such a staple piece to have in your closet. Um, these are the Baker Boy caps. I love this one because it's a satin black and it has the rhinestone detail on the RB logo uh, with this little pendant here. I got this, uh, I wanna say a good year and a half ago, year and some change. And I really love this hat uh, because it just gives that little pop to an outfit, especially if it's an all black outfit. Here's a picture here where I actually wore it um, with an all black look. And I don't know, it just brought the look all together. And in that picture, I had like a long burgundy wig on. So this hat just really made everything pop, but still kept it real muted and still neutral with the all black. Uh, with this one, I think it retails, hold on, let me double check. I gotta give y'all real numbers. It uh, retails for $435. But when I got mine off Farfetch, I only paid 200. And again, Farfetch connected me with a boutique that had this on sale for $200, okay? Remember, Farfetch is not actually selling the items, they are connecting you with retailers. Now the great thing about Farfetch is that they're not only helping the customer, but they're also helping the boutique. Because one of the reasons that they can keep their price point so low is because they're handling all the logistics on the back end. So these companies are paying them to really do the marketing, uh, do the payment processing. You know, imagine if you are a small boutique in France, you wouldn't really be able to market yourself and have this major site that can connect to people like me in the US. So thanks to Farfetch, they are bridging the gap from people all over the world, honey. So 
again, they handle the import. Like if you look at these two screenshots here, you'll see that on one side, um, right here, it has the Ruslan Baginski website and it shows that it's $435, but the duties are not included. This means that wherever uh, the Ruslan Baginski headquarters is or wherever you know they're shipping from, it is overseas. So the import tax is not included. So when you go to checkout, you will be charged an extra fee because you have to pay to import the item from overseas. But with Farfetch over here in this screenshot, you can see that the duties are already included. So if you were to get this hat for two, I only paid $200, but right now it's $235, not that big of a difference. I got the hat a year and a half ago. But if you were to buy that hat today, you would not only save money, but you wouldn't get to the end of the checkout process and see an extra fee in there. All of the duty and import taxes and everything are already included in that price on the Farfetch website. And I love that because baby, don't nobody want no surprise extra tax at the end, honey. I just wanna pay for the item and pay my own state sales tax. I don't have to have no surprises. So again, I cannot recommend Farfetch enough. You should definitely go check out the site to see what you want to add to your wish list for this holiday season. Now this next site is very similar to Farfetch except it's called Satire. This site is just like Farfetch. It connects buyers with authorized retailers. And honey, I have been wanting this pair of jeans for so long. I can't remember who I first saw them on. It's one of my favorite style creators. Oh my gosh, slipping my mind. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I saw these jeans online sometime last year and when I saw the price tag, I was like, absolutely not. Who about to pay all that money for jeans? But when I saw these on Satire, I knew I had to have them. I am talking about the Mason Margiela jeans with the slits on the side, baby, get into it. Here's a picture of me in them. I styled these jeans over on my Instagram and I think I did post it on YouTube Shorts and TikTok and they were a hit. I will be wearing these all fall, all winter, really all spring and summer all year round. I cannot wait to style them, dress them up, dress them down. I had a little kitten heel moment when I wore them uh, to the movies in that picture you just saw. But honey, these jeans are so flattering. The waist is cinched. Then it has these splits on the side to give you a little thigh action, but not too much. And I love that they're that wide barrel style. Like if you know me, you know I love a good barrel jean. Okay y'all, so I just checked Mason Margiela's website and these are currently in stock for $858. Absolutely not. Um, again, I just feel like for me personally, if I'm gonna spend that coin, I have to be able to justify it. And I'm just not at the point right now where I'm willing to spend um, almost $1,000 like after taxing and shipping everything on a pair of jeans, but I will get it for almost 50% off. What can I say? You may think that's crazy, like girl, $500 ain't no better, but I don't know, in my mind, 500, is a little bit better than almost a thousand. I'm just a girl, I'm just a girl, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I went on Satire and I found these uh, for 506. I just went on there now to look and I'll show you on the screen. They are currently out of stock in like every size except for a size 42 and they have those for 583. Now, here's the thing about Satire that kind of gets on my nerves. They will choose different price points depending on the availability and what's in stock and what's in high demand. So if it is a popular size shoe, like let's say size seven, eight to nine, those are usually more popular. That designer shoe is probably gonna be higher than if you got it in a size like 12 or 10. And that's just how the retail game goes. I mean, I can't really be mad at it, but it is kind of annoying because for my size, it's usually in the popular range, especially when it comes to shoes. So anyway, yes, I got these for 506, much better than spending a thousand. And again, I say spending a thousand because even though they are on the website for 850, you have to include the tax and the import taxes, like the shipping, the fees, because they are coming from overseas. So I just wanna make sure I clarify that. When you shop on sites like Satire and Farfetch, the import fees are already built into the price. So as you're scrolling, you get what you get. Like there's no hidden fees at the end at checkout. So that is why I prefer to shop on these sites. So I'm so happy I got these jeans and I will definitely be back to show you more purchases from Farfetch and Satire because that's just my little guilty pleasure. That's when I really want to treat myself. All right, now last but not least, I want to kind of collectively group these sites together because they're pretty much all the same thing. These sites are similar to Poshmark where you can buy and sell items. However, you don't regulate your own page like you do on Poshmark. Um, you actually send your item to these sites and they handle everything for you. So Poshmark is a self-ran platform where you have your own page, you set up your own storefront, you 
you are responsible for selling and communicating with customers yourself. But Fashion File, The Real, and Rebag, these are sites that I absolutely love because you ain't gotta do all that. You can ship them off your items from your personal closet, they will appraise them, give you the value that they think you should sell them for, and then they will go and help you make the profit by posting on their site. So they are another site that is a liaison, but not for boutiques and stores, but for actual customers like you and I. So again, these sites are called The Real Real, Rebag, and Fashion File. Now I wanna show you one of my favorite bags that I actually got from Fashion file this is a nano speedy by Louis Vuitton and I really love this bag so much y'all she is just so gorgeous she's like a quick running errands bag where I don't really need too much all I want to do is put my phone in here some lip gloss or card holder honey and just go I'll show you here on the screen this bag is retailing for $1,800 now that $1,800 price tag is for the model of the bag that I did not want. So let's start there because I am actually not obliged to spending a good coin on a Louis Vuitton bag. I'm not, I've done it before. But I did not like how these nano speedies that they're making now have a detachable strap on the side. I thought that the gold hardware on the end of the strap was just a little bit too bulky for the size of the speedy. Again, this is nano. This is the micro, the smallest version. So I was looking for the older version that they don't make anymore. And that's where Fashion File came into play. So when I got my nano speedy about two years ago, I was on the hunt for the old school strap that you see here where it goes from the strap straight into the gold hardware detail and you cannot remove this. That was very important to me because again, the new one, it has that clip on it where you can like unhook it and put it back on. I just feel like it looked too bulky but to me this is more sleek and I don't think I would need to remove the strap like I can just tuck it if I want to or I just carry it like this or carry it as a crossbody I just felt like again I wanted the old school version that they no longer make and fashion file had it now I only paid $800 for this and again you might be thinking what well, girl that is a lot of money but remember it is retailing now for um, after taxes and shipping honey over $1,900 so really it's $2,000 so again, girl math, in my mind, I'm getting a good deal because I got it in pristine condition. I mean, I've, I've had this for a good two, maybe two and a half years now, and it's still great. I take good care of my bags. Um, but also when I got it, it was spotless. The interior was spotless. I can tell you right now, there's really nothing going on in here. No stains. The hardware is intact. Um, not too many scratches, nothing is faded, everything just looks great. So again, I got this one from Fashion File, and that site is similar to other sites like The Real Real and Rebag. These are sites that I suggest that you go on to buy gently used items, and sometimes you'll even come up on a brand new item, okay? This one was gently used, but I really like my Louis Vuitton to have a little bit of that used look to it. Not too much, but I like it to have a little bit of wear and tear because it just gives the bag character. Now, I do have, you know, brand new ones that I bought in store, but for this Nano Speedy, I've made the perfect choice. Shout out to Fashion File. All right, y'all, today's video is not meant to be too long. I just wanted to give you my tips on how to find some luxury design for the low thank you so much for watching make sure that you follow me on instagram make sure that you follow me on tiktok and of course make sure you are subscribed here and drop a comment and let me know have you used any of these sites any of these apps let me know what are you looking for this season what do you have your eye on what's on your wish list especially with the holidays coming up and i'll let you know mine as well okay until next time bye